it's Michelle here and welcome to the M blog channel in this video we are going to talk about all the things and everything that you need to know and do before your first day of community college in this video we're going to cover a variety of things one of them being what should you be taking in your backpack for the first day what should you do what should you be doing when you get there on the first day so as I do this make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe and I'm only doing this because honestly I want to support you guys as you go through your community college journey there's not a lot of people out there with these videos supporting one another so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and let's get started all right guys so the first thing i'm going to talk to you guys about is the backpack situation this is where you have to decide do you want to bring a backpack or a purse because when i bring a purse i bring this one i bring this purse it's one of the long champ ones and i just like it because it is spacious inside and basically i can put everything in there but when i'm going to the library i'm expecting a harder semester i do bring myself a backpack so i did have a lulu lulu whatever bag before a lulu's one and it worked out great for the smaller like not as heavy days if you get what I'm saying, but on those really, really heavy days, I really needed a backpack. That's the first step. Decide if you want a backpack or if you want a purse. That's the first thing. For, as far as what you should be taking inside your backpack, well, that I'm gonna tell you guys right now. So let's open up my backpack. Okay guys, so now that I've opened my backpack, we're gonna see that I have my laptop in here. I recommend bringing a laptop on the first day if you find it entirely essential. I don't always bring my laptop on the first day for a variety of reasons. Sometimes we just don't have homework and all that we do on the first day of class is just talk about the syllabus and just review how class is gonna go and we don't really get any actual assignments until later. Other thing that is super essential on the first day of class is to bring a notebook. I remember telling you guys that I'm a huge five-star fan, which I am, but this one is from Top Flight and I just had it, this notebook last semester for my calculus class and I found the papers just being a lot brighter and thicker than my five stars. So I recommend that if you guys want to check it out, Top Flight, I think five stars is another great option, but this one's another one of my favorites. Do bring your notebook and some pencils and some pens because they are going to require you to take notes. And if you're someone like me, I do not use my laptop at all for notes. I am a physical note taker. Then just bring one notebook and see how it goes. But I definitely recommend bring your notebooks on the first day of class. The next thing is for the person who wants to stand out automatically to your professor and be that person that every student wants to be and it is to print out every single copy of a syllabus. So sometimes they send it to you through a web portal or something, print it out, don't rely on your computer because chances are you're not going to want to take it out and take the time to search up the syllabus when the professor asks a question about it. So make sure you print it out. So I put mine in a little folder like this. It's really not that fancy. And then I covered up my school name because people tend to do that on YouTube where they cover their name. So I think it's some type of privacy thing. Anyways, um, you want to print it out so that the professor, if they have a question, you're like, yep i printed it out i'm a good student so do this you will stand out automatically another great tip to do is to print out your transcript and you want to print out any other thing that you find important just in case you're going to meet with a counselor but for me i find printing out the syllabus super 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 beneficial it just makes me look good as a student and it's something that teachers don't see very often so do that if you want to impress your professor so for the ones that don't ever want to miss a class or don't want to look like that person running around not knowing what classroom it is, I recommend that you bring a pencil pouch. But <laughs> in your pencil pouch, you want to have a handy dandy little secret weapon where you're going to write down all of your classes. Now, this is an example of mine. Again, I don't have any classrooms, but this is something that you would want to do for yourself. You're going to write, you know, class schedule, the semester, the subject, you know, the day and the time, and then over here is the room number. So, so handy. I cannot stress it enough. You could also print it out on, you know, your web login portal for your school, but I personally like to handwrite it and just keep it inside my pencil pouch. I can't 
even explain this enough how beneficial this is when I'm sitting down in my first class of the semester and then say hey do I have to go to another class let me quickly check my pencil pouch because chances are you're gonna have your pencil pouch kind of near you on the table so you want to have this if you don't for those of you who want to know more about what's in my pencil pouch, I honestly just carry, you know, chargers in here for my computer, my iPhone. I also carry some headphones because headphones are so essential, I think, also in college because there might be someone who eats loudly in the study room, someone who talks in the library, someone who just annoys you or you need to motivate yourself. And I think having headphones inside a little bag like this is really beneficial. Okay, on to calculators, notebooks, and rulers. I don't recommend you bringing those on the first day of school unless the professor emails you about bringing them. In textbooks, I don't purchase them until the first week of school because sometimes I'll get to the actual class and the professor will say, no one actually needs to buy the textbook. And I'm like, oh crrr. Just kidding. And I'm like, what? You know, and I waste all that money for no reason. So wait till the first week of class to get situated. You do not need to bring them. Don't worry about them. They're just not necessary in my opinion. So don't worry about that. So if you are a student like me and you're a full-time student and you have kind of a day ahead of you, you want to have a water bottle as well as some snacks. So I usually bring some almonds. See, here are mine already packed and ready to go for next week. So yeah, I usually bring my almonds and then some water because for me it's really important for me to stay hydrated during the day. So definitely recommend that in terms of food. Some of the things that you need to take care of before school that might not be in your backpack is a parking pass. Parking passes usually are found online through your student account. They can be requested, so take care of that. If you don't have that, you can just bring some coins to your first day or some cash just in case. Another thing that you want to have taken care of is your student fees. Make sure those are paid for, your FAFSA is kicking in, and you should be good. Other thing that just is coming up to my mind right now is that you need to make sure that you are not on the wait list on any of your classes. And if you are, it's fine. Just make sure you have some type of code that you can talk to the professor about. Email them before starting class on that process. So those are the three things that might not be in your backpack, but you should be taking care of before starting class. And other than that, guys, that is it for this week's video. Please leave your questions down below if you think I missed something out. But that's basically all you need to do and all the things that you need to have with you and have done before the first day. So I wish you guys the best of luck this semester. I hope you guys subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and on my Snapchat, where I'll be letting you guys know when more videos will be coming up and where we talk the most people, where we get to know each other, and you guys take polls on these videos. Nonetheless, have a great semester and good luck and I'll see you guys later. Bye!